Ostaric may too. The topic is, uh, can I know about my pronunciation in Vietnamese? Vietnamese pronunciation is not easy because uh, there are six tones and also similar uh, syllables in which uh, they have different meanings. So, and then when I say about uh, I and then there are some meaning about uh, garlic and dinner or tonight. Also, when I say about a market, I can say maybe there's meaning about uh, dog or pour and so give something. And then, so there are many, many uh, syllables, uh, uh, syllables. Uh, which have a different meaning. So when I pronounce uh, some words, uh, not like uh, Vietnamese people, just like uh, Korean people or by myself, and when I speak, and then in fact, my pronunciation is not uh, understandable. So, and then that is a problem. So, and then also, it's very difficult to know, acquire uh, how I pronounce Vietnamese vocabulary words and sentences the, without knowing about uh, my pronunciation. Just I say to Vietnamese people in Vietnamese, they don't understand what I talk. That is the problem. So when I study Vietnamese, I needed to know about, uh, I should figure out how I pronounce Vietnamese uh, correctly. So, and then this is the very point of view. Because uh, I study Vietnamese uh, online language exchange and reading subtitle of YouTube channel. So I build up a little bit it's okay, the Vietnamese uh, vocabulary and the sentences, so I get the foundation. But my study is fundamentally and based on the written language, not the spoken language. That is the problem. Because uh, when I learn Vietnamese uh, in based of written language, with the words and reading and sentence and grammar, that means uh, my pronunciation is has weak weak point, weakest point uh, in language point because I don't listen too much, and then I don't depend on the listening. So nowadays uh, I try to listen more. I watch so uh, also not only um, reading the. Vietnamese subtitle, but also listening to Vietnamese videos for, from the uh, Vietnamese YouTube channels. And then it will be a little bit cool. By the way, anyways, um, it's too that I should know about the pronunciation. So I found out I uh, using voice typing on Google document is a good way to uh, understanding pronunciation. Because uh, when I use uh, voice typing in Vietnamese, uh, my voice is recorded directly, but not likely my idea, my intention, the word or the sentence, uh, totally different things. And then in, so when I read, I don't understand. Even I read with uh, what I told, what I spoke uh, in AI, but uh, AI said, uh, this is naturally, uh, grammatically not good. So, and then just uh, uh, the proofread the, the, the one is not good. So, and then that is my problem. So, and then how I fix uh, with these problems? Uh, how can I uh, improve my pronunciation to know, uh, knowing about uh, how I can 
pronounce Vietnamese better. So I decided to study with uh, my language parent uh, who Vietnamese. And then I tried one sentence, I challenged it. I pronounced with the voice typing. At the time, there are 17 syllables. And then I just can get the six syllables are OK. And, but um, I tried to maybe about five times more. So in the end, I have uh, 11 um, from 17. I have uh, 11. I have 11 correct uh, syllables from 17 syllables. So, and then also the my language parents, uh, Mr. Tan, help me to practice pronunciation properly. By doing that, I bet I make sure so I can know about how I pronounce Vietnamese by using voice typing and by helping with the language parents. That is a good. And then also, if we make uh, interface is very good, and then my language parent uses the mobile phone, so he cannot directly speak uh, uh, properly the Vietnamese uh, uh, writer and then in the online language exchange. But if we use laptop uh, together, and then we use interface of uh, uh, Zoom interface uh, and Google document using voice typing. And then with the sentence uh, perfectly, we can fix the pronunciation better. So, and then the cognition is very important to the improve the pronunciation because uh, awareness of uh, uh, how I pronounce Vietnamese, uh, and that is to make a habit. Uh, um, in fact, uh, listening is a very good way to do uh, to improve the pronunciation. But uh, yes, uh, listening is uh, take a long time, take a long time. But um, practice like panics or the uh, properly, uh, and then uh, I can the pronunciation uh, improve pronunciation uh, in Vietnamese. This is. Uh, uh, how I challenge now. So I hope uh, I improve uh, my pronunciation in Vietnamese uh, better than before. So, and then this is a new way uh, using the voice typing uh, with the help of language parents. Uh, and then I can aware of, I can aware of, I can be aware of uh, uh, how I pronounce Vietnamese. So, and then uh, I can uh, pronounce it better. And also I need to listen more. It's amazing to knowing about uh, AI can probably the what I uh, talk, and then this is uh, very unique. My pronunciation, B and B and very difficult part. More let me share a story. Do you use the topic is my pronunciation in Vietnamese? Vietnamese pronunciation is needless because there are six tones and the similar syllables with different meanings. For instance, when I say um doyen, it's cool. Uh, when I say um, I, and I include mean the garlic dinner or tonight. Similarly, when I mention Joe and then market, it could uh, 
employer market for dog or property, market property. These nonsense make it challenging for me, especially since my pronouns intend to mimic Korean rather than Vietnamese. Consequently, people struggle to understand me when I speak Vietnamese. This poses a significant problem, particularly in my language exchange in the world. And when watching Vietnamese YouTube videos with subtitles, while I've built a foundation in Vietnamese vocabulary and sentence structures, my focus has primarily been on written language rather than spoken. As a result, my pronunciation remains my weakest point. To address this, I've started listening to more Vietnamese content, such as videos and podcasts. Additionally, I've discovered that using voice typing on Google Docs helps me understand my pronunciation better. However, there's still a gap between that I intend to say and on what the technology transcribes, highlighting my pronunciation challenges. Fortunately, my language partner, Mr. Tan, has been instrumental in helping me practice the proper pronunciation by using voice typing and working closely with him. I've been able to improve while it's still a work in progress. I'm hopeful that with continued practice and guidance, my pronunciation will continue to get better. In conclusion, improving my pronunciation requires a combination of listening, practice, and support from language partners. By embracing these strategies, I'm confident that I'll continue to make progress in my Vietnamese language journey. The end.